Hello and welcome to Shara's Craft Haven. Today we're going to be starting a series called My First Laser Box, where we're going to do a series of projects on different topics to introduce you to the laser box um, pro or rotary or basic, and also to give you a sense of the many different projects that you can do with it. We're going to get started with an acrylic inlay project and I, I really highly recommend you start with a place like the nounproject.com, link in the description. Um, they, have, they have just tons of SVG files. Um, some of them have Creative Commons. If you buy their membership, you can use them uh, royalty free. And so this is created by um, Last, Spark, Last Spark. Um, and so go ahead and check him out on the nounproject.com. Uh, I'm just going to be using this for our example today. Um, with acrylic inlay, you want to have compartments. So we'll see um, as you're adding in the pieces later on, it's important to have well-defined compartments and that there's spaces in between for the material it's going to be inlay into. So we're going to start with this image. Um, there are a few things that we'll need to change. So for example, these um, won't really help us out at all. So I'm just going to clean this image up a bit. Uh, this is um, this is going to be really too small to inlay. So I'm just going to get get rid of some of these spots. Um, think about like a stained glass window, um, how it's got the the panels of color and then it's got the framework holding it together. So this looks like we're getting pretty close. And then I'm probably going to be doing this out of wood. So I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. Um, so this will be one color, these will each be separate colors, and then we'll have the sword uh, and the pummel. To isolate uh, each of these parts, I'm going to select it all, do Control D and Control G, and then I'm going to move it off to the side. First, I'm going to start with isolating this panel up here, and so I'm going to be deleting the other pieces. And once I get close to having it isolated, um, I'll use the path tool to combine and then go in with nodes and finish it. So I'm going to go in here, path union, which is control and plus, and then I'm going to click on the node tool and then I'm going to just clear out the rest of these nodes. And so that way, we will be one panel closer. Um, something to, to think about when you're doing acrylic inlay, depending on how you do it, you're going to want a frame around um, of the material you're inlaying into so think think about like a stained glass window how you have um, the stained glass and then there's the lead or the metal frame around it so that it has a place to sit in so here we go all right wanted to pop back in um, something that is not going to work every time um, but something with this specific one that can work um, is since it has an outline around the entire thing, um, I'm going to group it all together. So path union and then remove the outer layer. And so what this is going to do is it's going to flip um, from spaces to filled in. And so then 
uh, we can do path break apart, which is shift control K. And hopefully that should give us our isolated pieces. Um, the way I did it before is definitely valid, especially if you have um, something without a, uh, a border around it to begin with. But here we have our different pieces isolated that then we can color in. Uh, kerf, kerf is important. Um, kerf is basically the space that the laser cuts and takes up. Um, so if you were doing uh, acrylic, my acrylic kerf is bigger than my wood, wood kerf. And so um, since none of these are going to be next to acrylic, it's not as big of a deal. If you want an exact fit, you might have to uh, make these slightly larger in all directions uh, to compensate for that. I see that when I put acrylic by acrylic, it's a little looser. But again, if you don't want something to be exact, then um, that's good enough. And I will uh, come back when we get the whole thing, um, the file ready. All right, so I have the different pieces colored the way that I'm hoping it will be. Um, the outline um, is gonna be the wood that's gonna be cut out. I have a layer here, which I combined just the framing. Um, this will be engraved. And then all the individual pieces will be cut out. So to be able to um, have that cut out of our frame, you grab all the pieces and then um, you combine them. So I'm going to ungroup them all. Then I'm going to do path union. And then, oh, miss the sword. Path union. And then I'm going to take the back layer and then do path difference, which is control minus, and that way it cuts them out of the back. And so that way we have this back shape that will be cut out of the wood with the panels exactly the way we want them to be. And then uh, we also have this engraved layer, which um, will add some, some contrast from the base wood. So Next step is going to be uh, dividing um, into into our print our print file, and so I'm going to be separating the colors out and having a different area for each of the colors, so that when we throw in the material, it's easy to just grab those pieces and go. So here we have um, the pieces all laid out. Um, they're color coded, which will make it a lot easier as we put in the sheets of acrylic to just delete the parts that uh, we don't need. Um, something I forgot to mention earlier is that you need a solid back panel. Um, the way I do inlay is there's a um, there's a wire mesh, the acrylic goes in, and then a back panel that I glue it to. So you'll see that as I assemble later, um, but here is the print ready file. All right, so we are back with the LaserBox software. Um, I opened it up and I'm gonna connect to the machine. So here we have um, forest green acrylic. Um, this is from CMS Acrylics. The link will be in description. Um, it is three millimeter, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down to my three millimeter acrylic settings. And then I'm going to import our file. So something that's helpful to, uh, to do is to have a design file and then have a print file. That way, if you need to go back, um, you're able to do that. So here we can see I've got my different pieces. Um, referring back, these are my two green. So I'm gonna 
go ahead, highlight, and delete the other pieces. And then I'm just going to place these where um, I'll have the least amount of waste. So this is part of why I love having the camera, is to be able to, to do this. All right. Um, so 100 power, 6 millimeters per second is my settings. Going to go ahead and click Start. And then I will see you after I get the pieces cut out. Wanted to hop back in here and um, do a PSA about acrylic and mirror acrylic. Um, so first off, acrylic stinks. So it's important to have good ventilation. I have a six inch uh, inline AC infinity fan. Um, and so that's eliminating a lot of the fumes. Um, but if you're cutting a lot of acrylic, it's helpful to let it sit a little bit after it's finished. Um, and then with mirror acrylic, like I have here, it's really important um, to leave the front of it masked so the mirror does not uh, get um, scraped on the honeycomb and to always cut it and engrave from the back. So I'm cutting out my sword and this is the back of the mirror acrylic. So see you when it's done. Here we are nearing the end. Um, something I didn't mention before was that how I do inlay is I have the framework layer and then I have another layer behind. Um, the framework layer is the same thickness, three millimeters as the acrylic, so it should be close to flush. And then the backing layer allows me to glue the framework to a solid foundation, and it also allows the acrylic to be glued to a backing so that it's not gonna fall out or get, um, yeah, so it's not gonna fall out and I'm not having to glue acrylic to a frame. So I will, show you what I end up with when we do assembly. So we have all our pieces cut out now. Um, now we're going to need to take off the paper covering, the laser box um, material that comes from Xtool comes with the coating too, so we're going to need to peel that off as well. Um, it's important to peel both sides off. You don't want to be trying to glue to the masking tape um, and the paper covering. So once you've removed both sides of the acrylic and removed all of the masking tape, as you can see, gets rid of a lot of that char. So you can see the, the before and after, it's much lighter, more contrast. Um, so once you've done that, um, then we're going to start assembling. All right, astute observers for note that I was <laughs> missing this blue piece. Um, it's important to do a dry assembly before you uh, assemble with glue just to make sure you haven't uh, put something in backwards or something um, is off and then you're trying to pull something out. But as you can see, we did a good job of getting these all in the correct positions. Um, I made some extra pieces here to try out a couple of different um, configurations for the sword. Got the mirror blade, um, which is pretty striking. Decided to go with the mirror hilt as well. Doesn't quite show up, but this is a gray, clear, a gray glitter acrylic. So here is our final piece. Um, if you wanted, you could stain it. You could do some other um, things to it. I um, I glue. Um, I put glue on the entire surface. 
Um, it's easier to get glue into these small spaces if you get the glue on the base plate. So gluing the entire base plate, um, centering your frame, and then adding in the acrylic pieces um, is the way that I would go. As always, um, please like, subscribe. Um, we're up to 100 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, there are actual affiliate links in the description. There's also uh, a link to my preferred um, Baltic Birch wood supplier, and hopefully we'll see you on future episodes of my first laser box. Have fun lasering!